or contact your doctor immediately for any problems. For now, outside in the Fox 17 patio, I'm Candace Monticelli, Fox 17 News. Back Can to you guys. Back to Kevin. Yeah, Candace, thank you very much. That story that you just told hits far too close to home for me about 15 years ago, especially in my 20s. I was a huge sun worshiper, got minor skin cancer right here in the torso, basal cell carcinoma. They burned it off. I don't lay out in the sun nearly as much. I still get a little bit, but you do have to be very careful. The other thing I want to pick up on. Good morning, everybody. Right where Candace left off, the Environmental Protection Agency, the federal agency, puts out a UV index every single day, and we are in the red here. If you look at that down to the legend here, it's just under our ticker. It's about 789, so it is high. It's not as high. It's not as strong as it is along the Gulf Coast, the South, and in the Southwest United States, but you still have to take that very seriously, folks. Make sure you use the sunscreen. Have you noticed in the local stores, it's very difficult to even find sunscreen 4 or 8? Most of them started about 15 and higher, so that's good news if you're trying to stay protected. I don't have anything on radar right now. Today is going to be a good day to get out on the beach. Again, don't forget the sunscreen. We have some showers upstream here that are going to try to make a run for our area. I don't think we see the rain today, but we'll probably see some of the residual cloud cover as we look at our temperatures. Most of us are in the 50s right now. It's very comfortable out there. Low humidities, great sleeping weather. We'll get a little bit warmer than we were uh, yesterday. I think uh, we'll rebound from the mid to upper 50s right now into probably the low to mid 80s will keep the humidity levels low until tonight and into tomorrow. So our forecast mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies a bit warmer than it was yesterday. We'll hit about 84 degrees with a southeast to turning southwest wind at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. As we look at our future track map and we go through the day, not much going on, just mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Dew point temperatures, a measure of moisture in the air will stay in the 50s. But what will happen is this big red line. That's a warm front. There's warmer, more humid air on the other side of it that will lift through here during the overnight hours and we'll start to feel the humidity late tonight and into daybreak. We'll feel the humidity tomorrow as dew point temperatures get into the mid 60s. So that kind of sticky atmosphere and then as this cold front comes through, it's probably going to trigger a few showers and some thunderstorms through the late morning and into the early, maybe mid afternoon. The best threat of severe weather is not in our area. It's over in southeastern lower Michigan as that front plows into that air mass later on during the peak daytime heating. That system is out of here and by Friday, Friday, we're dry. High pressure is building back in. We've got a cooler, drier, more comfortable air mass, and sunshine is going to be moving in by that time. Here's the severe weather outlook for us tomorrow. You can see that's the lowest threat category. It's a marginal threat. Some of those storms could pulse up, create a little bit of hail and some wind. Those are the primary threats. Uh, 84 degrees today, mostly sunny skies. If you're going to Meyer Gardens of the concert series, uh, Trombone Shorty is going to be out there. The show starts at 630. We'll see partly cloudy skies, temperatures in the lower 80s by that time with a southwest wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow is Thursday. A few showers and th some thunderstorms are likely. It's going to be breezy and more humid. How much rain are we talking about from that cold front? I think some areas are going to get missed. But uh, it looks like the areas that do pick up on some precip will be anywhere from a tenth to maybe three tenths of an inch of precipitation. By the time we get into Friday, we're in the upper 70s. Saturday looks dry with highs around 80. More shower and thunderstorm chances for Sunday and Monday as we encapsulate and look at the precipitation chances over the next several days. It peaks tomorrow up around 70 percent with some thunderstorm chances. Not much for Friday and Saturday and about a 30 and 40 percent respectively for more storm chances as we get into Sunday and Monday. That's our forecast, everybody. You can always get more at Fox. 17online.com. Here's Rob.